Happy New Year, Mastery Algebra 1. Welcome back. Welcome to a brand new edition of Your Learning. Hey, we're going to start off this year, this lesson, this chapter with Expand Your Thinking. What we're doing, we're going to extend on the idea of exponents to actually include zero and negative numbers. Before, when we looked at it, we had negatives as a subtraction sign or we looked at it as opposites. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at reciprocal powers. Here we go. So exponents are a convenient way to show that a number is multiplied over and over again. For example, when we have 2 to the 4th, it's really 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 four times. And then that equals 16. So the number 2 is called that base vocab. So we have the base here. This 4, we're going to call that the exponent. So that tells us how many times we're going to multiply that base. So if we expand each expression on number 1, we're going to find the value of the product. First one, we're going to have 2 to the 3rd. This really means 2 times 2 times 2 three times. Well, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Okay. If we go 2 to the 4th, we're going to add one more 2. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Two ways you can do this. 2 times 2 is 4, so we really have 4 times 4, which is 16, or 8 times 2, which is also 16. C. Be careful. Notice, we have a base of 2 and a base of 3. Okay, This is not 2 times 3, which is 6, and then we have 6 to the 15th or 6 to the 8th or whatnot. We're going to have to go 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 five times. And then we have three threes. So times three, times three, times three. What we really have is we have 32. That's two to the fifth. And then we have 27. So 32 times 27 is a really big number. It's 864. D. If we go three to the fourth, now we're going to go three times three times three times three. Best way to look at that is 3 times 3 is 9, and we have two 9s. So 9 times 9 is 81. Okay. Now we have 3 to the 6. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. You could look at this as, gee, I don't know, 27 times 3 times another 3 times another 3. You could go 27 times 27, probably the, the best way. Anyway, you get 729. Okay, letter F. We're not going to multiply the 3 and the 2. No, we're going to expand out. We're going to go 3 to the 5th first. So 3 to the 5th. And then we're going to get times 2 to the 4th. little easier, maybe this 2, two to the 4th. So we know we have 16 there. Okay. And then 3 to the 5th is really... Well, above we have 3 to the 4th, which is 81. So it's really an 81 times 3. When you put it all together, 243... 243 times 16 is 3,888. So that's expanding our expressions. Number two. Now we're going to follow the pattern and complete the following problems. Do not use your calculator. This is time to practice without your calculator. Okay, think about what happens as you move up one row or move down. So let's start with the twos. Okay, two to the fifth is two times two times two times two times two, which is 32. 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay. 2 to the 3rd, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Okay. So when we go 2 to the 2nd, what are we doing? Well, we're getting rid of a 2. So we know that's 2 times 2. But if we look at our answers, what's happening when we go from 32 to 16? And from 16 to 8, hopefully you are getting rid of, we're dividing by 2. So what's 8 divided by 2? 4. Okay. 2 to the 1st is just 2. Now 2 to the 0. Well, I know you're thinking, 0. Yes. Well, think about it. If we were going from 32 to 16 to 8, we're dividing by 2 each time. Okay, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Not 0. Because then if we have 0 divided by 2, 
that'd still be zero, and then the rest of the time we have zero. So, if we keep going in this idea, if we take our answer to one and divide by two, you get one half. So this two to the negative one is one half. So two to the negative two is one half divided by two, which is one fourth. If you notice, what we're doing with this negative is we're really taking the reciprocals. The reciprocal of two is one half. Two squared is four, but the reciprocal is one fourth. So these negatives means reciprocal. So two to the negative third means one over two times two times two, which is one eighth. And then two to the f negative four is one over two times two times two times two, which is one sixteenth. So take a guess, two to the negative five. Well, two to the fifth was 32, so the reciprocal is 132. So we have one over two times two, five times. So quick check, here we go. All right, your turn. Hit pause, you're gonna do L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-V. Check back and uh, give you a minute. Go. All right, welcome back. If you notice the answers, Hey, okay, L, we had 243. M, we're just dividing by 3 when we take one off, so or 1 less 3. So we had 81, then we had 27, then we had 9, then we had 3, then we had 1. Then we get to this lovely, what's a negative exponent? Well, again, we're just dividing by 3 every time we go 1 less. So 54321, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So 1 divided by 3 is 1 third. One third divided by three is one ninth. One ninth divided by three is one twenty seventh. One eighty one and one over two forty three. Notice we're not doing a calculator, so you should not see any decimals. Non decimal part right now. Congratulations, good job. Okay. So three, your work at number two should show that two to the zero is one, and three to the zero is one. Explain why it makes sense for both of these answers to be the same. Well, if you remember, what were we doing as we were going down? Well, we had 2 to the first, which was 2, and we had 3 to the first, which is 3. And then as we went from 2 to 3, and then down to negative 0, excuse me, and then we had 2 to the negative 1, we're dividing each time. So this was 3 to 0, 3 to negative 1. Okay, we're dividing each time. So this is really... 2 divided by 2, which is 1. This is 3 divided by 3, which is 1. Okay. So they are the same because they both started with 1. Okay. We'll expand with that in a little bit. Next page. Okay. So the exponent zero rule. This is really part of skill 13, so make that correction. And this is part 13. So any number base or any base, letter, could be a letter, raised to a zero exponent is always equal to one. Okay. So use the z exponent zero rule to find the answers. Well, two to the zero, one. Four to the zero, one. 10 to the zero, one. Three to the zero, oh, three divided by three, which is one. Five to the zero, five divided by five, which is one. And 20 to the zero is one. Okay. So your work in this number two to show that 2 to the first is 2, and 3 to the first is 3. So explain why it makes sense for the same answer to be the same base. Okay. Again, we are starting with 1. Little keys. These are, these are the, the special rules that we need to start working with and remember. Okay. So that was the zero exponent rule. Okay. The exponent rule, any base number raised to an exponent of 1 equals that base number. So if we have b to the first, that equals b. If we have 1,000 to the first, that equals 1,000. So go ahead and pause. This is going to be quick. Do number six, a, b, c, d, e, and f. Go. Hey, welcome back. Two to the first is two. Three to the first is three. Four to the five, ten, and twenty. I know you're pretty good at that. Okay, number seven. Again, your work in number two should show that two to the third is eight, two to the negative third. Again, remember what we're saying. 
we're saying this negative just means reciprocal. So it's really going to be the reciprocal of that answer, or what is the reciprocal of 2? This is going to be 1 half, but we drop down the exponent, so we keep the 3 on that. So 1 over 2 to the third is 1 over 2 times 2 times 2, which is 1 over 8. 3 squared is 9, so when we get to 3 to the negative 2, reciprocal of 3 is 1 third, but we have two of those. So 1 third squared. So this is 1 over 3 times 3, which is 1 ninth. Okay, so the negative exponent rule. Again, this is part of skill 13. I hate it when I make mistakes. Okay, any base number raised to a negative exponent equals 1 over the base number raised to that opposite exponent. In other words, when we take the reciprocal, okay, we're going to lose that negative. We're not going to keep that negative on there. And we're just going to have, so if this were a to the negative 3, we're going to take the reciprocal of a, which is 1 over a, and then we're going to keep that exponent there. So 1 over a to the third. All right, using this rule, go ahead, hit pause. Try number 8, a through f, go. Be sure to show your work. Hey, welcome back. If you notice, we got 1 16th, 1 3rd, 1 16th for c. 1 25th, 1 1,000th, 1 180 over 81. Next page. Problem 4, what we're going to do, we're going to look at word problems. Population growth. So a population of marine bacteria doubles every hour under controlled laboratory conditions. The number of bacteria is modeled by the expression 1,000 times 2 to the h, okay, where this h is the number of hours after a scientist measures the population size. And then we're going to evaluate the expression for h equals 0 and h equals negative 3. Okay, and then what does each value of the expression represent in that situation? So what does h equals 0 mean and what does h equal negative 3? So if we take this problem, we need to look at okay, what's the model of the problem? What are we doing? Plug it in. And then what's our answer? Those are kind of the three things. Well, the model is we have 1,000 times 2 to the h. And we want to figure out, well, what does that mean if we have h equal to 0 and h equal to negative 3? And so let's do the first one. Let's plug in. We have 1,000 times 2 to the 0. Okay, remember of order of operations. We have to do exponents first. And we just got done. What is 2 to the 0? 2 to the 0 is 1. So we have 1,000 times 1, or 1,000. If we do the next one, we have 1,000 times 2 to the negative third. Okay, again, exponents come first, so we're not going to go 1,000 times 2. We're going to go 2 to the negative third. Remember, negative tells you reciprocal. So this is 1,000 times the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 over 2. But we keep the exponent, so that's 2 to the third. So we have 1,000 times 1 over 8, or really 1,000 divided by 8, which is 120. Five. So at h equals 0, we get 1,000, and at h equals negative 3, we get 125. Okay. What does this mean? So h is the number of hours after a scientist measures the population size. So what does 0 mean? Well, we don't have any 1s, we don't have any negatives, so this means just when we actually measure the population size, we got 1,000. So there were 1,000 bacteria at the time the scientists measured the population. So the negative, if we're going 1 equals one hour after, and two is two hours after, go backwards. So the negative three means before. So three hours before the scientists measured, the population bacteria was 125. All right. So take this concept on the population growth and go to the got it. Do number four, hit pause, check back with me in a couple minutes. Go. All right, welcome back. If you check out the work, okay, we have 5,400 times 3 raised to the W, where W is the number of weeks after that population. So now we're looking at weeks. So when we go negative, remember, that means before the population was measured. Two weeks before the population was measured, you should have had 600 insects. If we go to zero, that's actually right when we measured them. So we had the 54. 
So 5,400 represents the population when it was measured. And the last one, one week after, we have 16,200 insects. One week after it's measured. Notice one thing. Hopefully you're taking note of this. Okay, what happens when we initially make a measurement or at zero? Remember, this is going to cancel out, or this is always e equaling one. So this 54, which we're timesing to that number with, that's raised to an exponent, that is kind of our initial amount. We always get that number. So when we plug in zero for this exponent, our initial amount is being multiplied. All right, next page. So take what we just learned in 7.1. Apply it to this practice. 7.1, be sure to check your answers at the end of the document. Once you finish this and you feel confident, don't forget the book work. Okay, be sure to check your answers on page 421. And don't forget to check your answers on these last two for 7-1, 2500 and 14901. And remember, always do your best, forget the rest. Bye for now. Again, Happy New Year.